you, David. We're going to see you back in a ring anytime soon. Yeah, you will. Yeah, I've been uh, taking it taking it easy of late. I um, obviously in the end of 2014, I had a, a bad shoulder injury, so I needed a re re reconstructed surgery on my shoulder. That's good now. I've got all the movement back. I'm, I'm banging harder than ever with that. So um, just surveying the land at the moment and uh, seeing seeing what seeing what's happening out there. But the heavyweight division is is looking as good as it has done for a long time. You know, you've got obviously Klitschko still doing what he does. You've got the, the emergence of the new American heavyweight champion, Deontay Wilder, WBC champion, big guy, perfect record. 33 fights, 32 knockouts, no losses. Um, he just had a great win. I was in Vegas when he fought um, Vermeer Stavern um, a couple of months back. He looked like the real deal, really did. He's, he's helped me out in the past with sparring. So I know him, I know him very well. And I think that's really spiced up the, the heavyweight division. On the domestic side of things, we've got um, obviously Anthony Joshua doing his thing, Dylan White. There's some nice young, some nice young guys coming through, you know, who could really sort of break through to the world scene in a, in a very short period of time. So it's, the, the, the heavyweight division is looking really good at the moment. It's kind of as interesting as ever because, like you say, with Vitaly gone, that WBC yeah. belt is now yeah. in good hands with yeah. Deontay Wilder, but also you've got Vladimir fl yeah. fighting in New York, you know, outside of Germany for that the first time. That makes yeah. a change, you know, the fact that he's willing to fight an American in America. It started, things are starting to shake up, you know, I think he's realised people, by him fighting continuously in Germany, only the German people watch that, you know, worldwide, he doesn't do great business. And I think he realises, you know, time's ticking now, he doesn't have too many fights left in him, he's 38 years old. Or so now, so I think for this next couple of years, he wants to try to really finish off, finish his legacy, you know, with some real big, big fights. You know, and if he has to travel, he has to. So you know, you've got, you've got to give Vladimir lots of respect for that. What's the route back in for you then, David? You said last time you wanted to, you know, fight regularly, be busy. Uh, what, what's the plan now? How do you kind of go about it? Any dates in mind? No dates in mind at the moment. Um, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll survey and see what the right route is. Um, everything. Depending on what's happening with Wilder and obviously Vladimir, their mandatories and what belts they have, what opponents are in those rankings, there's so many different things that come into play. But um, I think a, a great route would be to go to America and um, try to navigate away to the WBC title. You know, um, uh, Deontay Wilder is a very good champion, and um, I'm probably if I start fighting regularly, probably a, a year, year and a half away. If I was to have a fight, so say in three months' time, I'd say I'd probably be about a year, year and a half away from possibly being in a mandatory position for that. And once I'm in that, then it may take another six months yeah. or so. So maybe two, a year, two years away from a title shot. Um, you know, I don't think I'm, I'm not stupid and think I'm just going to jump straight in there. You know, I think it'd be disrespectful to the champion and be a bit idiotic of myself to think, you know, just because at one stage three years ago I could fight at. A good level that after three years out, I could jump straight back in there. You know, if you're a sprinter, even Usain Bolt can take three years out and expect to come be come back in and beat the world. You know, so you got to get your form back, and that's what I'll need to do. Just one final one. Um, what's the situation with training? Obviously, you haven't been with Adam Booth for a while, but you spent time in Vegas. Are you going to be in in Vauxhall? Have you got a, a trainer I'll sorted? Be, I'll, I'll be in Vauxhall, the Park Plaza. Um, uh, hotel, my, my, my gym's uh, set up with those guys and that's that's where I'll be, that's where I'm based. Um, it's, I've had great success there, you know, and I'll be looking at um, continuing that. You know, I've got a great um, bunch of guys at Kicks who um, really look after my, my health side of things, making sure that the nutrition spot on the food's there. So I'm really, I'm really happy with um, the setup at the moment, but looking to the future, things are looking nice and neat and tidy and uh, Looking forward to getting in there and uh, you know, shocking up, shaking up the world again. So have you got a, have you got a trainer specific guy who's going to be mine? But that would be I would I'll, I'll tell you about that stuff a bit closer to time. <laughs>